We have some balsa, the world's softest wood, and some yarin wood, the world's hardest wood. We're gonna put them through a series of tests. We're gonna see how fast the water jack can cut through these. Then we're gonna do a sanding test, and then we're gonna burn them. Burn test. So there's this hardness test called the Jenga hardness test, where they take a steel ball and push it into wood, and they measure how much force it requires. I don't really know what that has to do with stacking wood and removing it. So for a piece of balsa, it takes 298 newtons, and a piece of yarn, it takes 19,892. That is 66 six, six, six six times more, more force. force. Technically, there is one other wood that's harder called wadi wood, but yarn and wadi wood are both from Australia and they both have funny names, so what's the difference, right, mate? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the yarn wood has a nice, zebra tigery kind of grain to it, which is really interesting. So the way we're gonna test this with the balsa wood is we're gonna turn the garnet off so it's just the water, and we might even turn the pressure down, and we're gonna make it so it just is barely cutting through the balsa, and then test those same settings on these other woods to see how deep it cuts. How does that sound, Nate? So that was high pressure at 85% speed. Give us just a horrible cut. Uh, we're gonna have that be our baseline because that looks like it is just barely getting through the ball side. Let's do the others. So uh, those results were not great. They're all pretty similar in depth. So here's the pine, goes down to about there. Walnut did pretty well, they really went down just to there. Stabilized maple was a little deeper than the walnut. And then the yarn was interesting. Kind of broke. It's so hard it's brittle. So you can see the effect it had on it. It went down about that deep at the beginning, but only that deep at the end. So long story short, balsa wood is so soft that ranking the other woods against it is a bad idea. So we're gonna do it against pine instead. Anyone care for some steamed wood? So that was 125, well, no one cares. So that was with the abrasive turned on and the cut quality is pretty terrible, but it cut. So that's right about what we're looking for. All right, so with pine as the baseline, we got a lot better results. So this is the stabilized maple again. It got most of the way through, but not quite. A little less on this side. The reason it gets through more on the first side is because as the water is going in, it goes out to the left side. There's the walnut. On this side, it only made it to here. It's compared to the maple, a little less. And then of course, the yarn wood. Made it about a third of the way through. Now we have a visual representation of how hard pine wood is compared to these other woods. A visual representation indeed. Time for an epic sanding test. So we'll measure before and after on all these and see how much is removed in five seconds of sanding and call that scientific. A fresh belt. Whoa, we're down to one inch. Depending on where you look at. We got some burn marks on there from how epic oh. that was. That much was reduced. Hey. And he pushed too hard at this. <laughs> A fresh belt. Holy moly. Six and three sixteenths. Time to bring out the big guns. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm, quite a pleasant smell from that dust. Is that yarn I smell? Hmm. <laughs> Down below six inches. 
Our viewers know about that. <laughs> Kai, you want some goldfish? <laughs> so how are we gonna test how well they burn? We're just gonna torch them. Okay, five seconds and go. <laughs> Huh, not too bad. A little crispy on the edges. Hey. Ooh. Well, they kind of all look the same, so we're gonna do it for a lot longer. So before we burned the yarn wood, I couldn't really see the grain of the wood. It's the unburned side. It's kind of hard to tell what direction the grain's going in. There's just cut marks, but on the burn side, you can tell where they are now. So, fun fact. There's definitely some differences. The balsa got pretty dang charred, especially where it was getting hit. Whereas if you look at the yarn, the sides kind of didn't get hit too hard. I think that's from our first burn. And kind of in between for these bad Larrys. The pine is a little more resistant to burning all the way because of the wide grains. You know, I love my wide grain. I do declare. So uh, in conclusion, we aren't very smart and th these tests were inconclusive. Science was used today, just not in the right way. <laughs> Science was abused today. <laughs>